Hi Scorpio, welcome to your quantum entanglement reading with me, Jocelyn, the quantum queen. This is, of course, <clears throat> for Scorpio, sun, moon, or rising, and as always, welcome to my cross watchers. Cross watcher, you could be dealing with a Scorpio, and the message could actually be for you, so feel free to take it however it resonates with you and your situation. Keep in mind that these are general and timeless readings, and if you guys would like to book a one-on-one -on -one reading with me, you can find my information down below in the description box. And just want to say thank you for liking, subscribing, and thank you for all the good karma donations. Okay, Scorpio, are you ready, my loves? The very first card that popped out is the Six of Pentacles. So there is some type of an offer or some type of generosity. Let me pull a couple more cards and see what is going on here. Alrighty, Rue. Okay. Ooh. Oh, that's interesting. The Maiden of Swords just came out in Sage's reading. What's, what are you? Oh, well, it, here's what's going on. Ah, should I take all three? Honestly, I feel like what's happening, okay, there's, there's a few different influences I feel like coming in, um, Scorpio. I feel like what's going on is like you're doing something different or um, you're, you have someone that's possibly chasing after you or wanting to make an offer to you. I don't know, like friend, lover, whoever this is. And it's bringing some type of wish fulfillment. And maybe it could be because Scorpio, like energetically you're opening up and maybe becoming more generous yourself. And it's opening up this really beautiful energy for you. Now, here's what's interesting is I feel like things, if not right now, things are about to get really freaking good and just prepare yourself because I feel like there's a bit of a maiden of swords or, you know, it doesn't have to be. It could be an air sign, air Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, but, and it could be Aquarius. That's the star card, but it could be someone that's playing mind games. All right. Someone's kind of watching from a distance or like maybe wanting to be closer. Hold on. I have to get one more thing because why'd you have to have four cards? <laughs> Okay, so this is what I feel like is going on. Now, some of you guys could be um, with the priestess. You could be really super intuitive about this time. Um, let me dive into this and get a little bit more information, okay? So first we have the Queen of Cups. That's your own energy. Let's see, and three of pentacles. Interesting. Give me a second, because this is a really interesting layout. Okay, Scorpio, this is what I think is going on. Man, that Knight of Swords have been coming out constantly today. You guys are starting a new chapter in your life. I feel like this has been in the making though, because the fool card is in the past. I feel like there's something that you've been building towards, and maybe this is just energetically, like maybe you haven't quite put the action into it yet, um, because I feel like maybe there's just something still where you're late waiting for things to line up in a little bit of a way. But with the three of pentacles, um, I feel as though you're, in this process of like healing and things are starting to go really well for you you're receiving some type of abundance it's like you're coming out of a chapter that was really dark and i have got that a lot for your reads where things were really hard a really big struggle for you and here you are you've been in this process of building your life to have more of a stable foundation to it this has been a long process is what i'm getting there, with the Six of Pentacles, I feel like there's going to be some type of a, a really uh, like wish fulfillment payout this next coming week. So pay attention because I feel as though, especially with the priestess, 
continue to listen to your intuition because I feel like you guys are going to be guided in a specific direction. And there's also that maiden of swords, like another energy that's on the side of someone watching or keeping tabs. Like I said, that was in Sagittarius's read. So maybe there's a connection there. I'm only saying that because of this knight of swords. I feel like you are communicating some truth. There's almost like someone I feel as though that wants to come back in and you know that they're almost like watching your success and it, or receiving or seeing you receive something and you're going to be standing up to that. Okay, man, everyone's been getting that freaking card and it's kind of annoying me. So four of wands, here's the beautiful thing is I feel like when it comes to your home or things, there's a lot of really positive celebration energy. Some of you, this could be marriage or just commitments that you're making to other people. So let's see. Okay, this is interesting. This is coming out in your fear position, Scorps. So I feel like some of you guys could be a little bit afraid to jump to the next phase of your life or take some type of a leap which I'm not surprised with the full card. I feel as though, like I said, you, that's what I was picking up on. I think that you guys have been wanting to start this new beginning, but you're a bit hesitant. And the chariot card, it's like, it, you could be being pushed almost by the universe to like do this thing or go in this direction. And you could be a little bit like, some of you, I feel like you're kind of waiting on something. You're waiting on the universe or you're waiting on... That doesn't surprise me too. Like maybe you're just waiting on the collective. You're waiting for travel to open up and things like that. That happens. But... Oh, this is good. Okay, this is such an interesting read. I'm really trying to pick up on everything. Scorpio, I think that... Honestly, what I'm getting from this is a little bit of just like the defensiveness standing up for yourself and standing up for your happiness. Some of you guys also could be getting a bit like defensive or protective over someone like a family member or a child or something, but you're feeling really protective of someone right now. And so some of you guys could have that a lot in your energy where um, that also could the, be the Maiden of Swords. Is someone very sensitive that you're protecting or you're looking out for in some way, shape, or form? Let me see what your outcome is. The Hermit. <laughs> what is going on? Scorpio, like, your read is really, honestly, like, what? Okay. What's going on? Honestly, what I'm seeing is... You're moving forward, the chariot card, and I think what's also coming in is there's some type of generous offer or something coming in that's helping you to move forward. So maybe that's from a partner, because with the Ten of Cups, that could be like a loving connection that you have or someone that is very supportive of you, because that's what I'm sensing with that Six of Pentacles. There's a relationship in your life where there's an even give and take, and it's providing you kind of the path to move forward to because, oh, this is why. Okay. What I was saying before with the star card, that doesn't come out unless you've been through a dark night of the soul, right? Right. So you guys are coming out of a dark phase, probably starting to. You could have been seeing flashes of energy come in of this new beginning, maybe intuitively with the priestess card and maiden of swords. It's like you're still having to educate yourself more and more because you're still alchemizing certain parts of your shadow to be prepared for this new beginning. So as that's coming into balance, you're still having certain parts of your shadow self that's pulling in holographic like entanglements with other people where you're continuing to stand your ground and communicate your truth because it's opening up your throat chakra and it's helping you to heal that part of yourself where you're feeling like it's a bit easier for you to like say no to people or to disconnect when you need to because maybe in the past you were maybe consumed by some negative energies of like feeling ashamed of yourself or maybe feeling some guilt about things like maybe being hung up by the past 
And so that is balancing out for you. And that's why I feel like any type of conflicting energies that have been or are coming into your experience, they're helping you to build your character, to build more of your caring less, you know, um, that zero Fs given, you know, that's what I'm kind of getting from this. It's helping you to be more and more detached and not put so many of your emotions into like catering to other people's, like almost walking on eggshells. I don't know why, but that's what I'm getting from your reading. But with your final outcome, you've got the hermit card. So there's something here where I feel like you guys could be going a bit on your own for a while. And for some reason, this just popped out to me, but going rogue a little bit <laughs> from the chariot and the hermit, you're like going off in your own direction in some way, shape or form, just like doing your thing. So I don't know what the heck this is. I'm gonna pull more clarifiers in the extended to get more details on this. So if you guys wanna join me over there, feel free. Go down below, click on the Vimeo link and I'll see you over there. But Cap, oh no, Scorpio. I did not mean that. Scorpio, if this is where we leave things, I'm sending you guys so much love. Wishing you all the very best and I'll see you in your next reading. Take care.